Alrighty, so today is Monday the 1st of December. Oh my gosh, it's December. I'm not gonna lie to you, it's not been the greatest day. So the day started with me waking up and finding a cockroach in my room. And while I was messaging my mum about how scary it was having a cockroach in my bedroom, I saw another one on the wall. And then I watched it as it fell off the ceiling, because it got to the top of the wall, fell off the ceiling, and landed in my makeup bag. Anyway, I messaged my landlady while I was in class and I was like, look, there's cockroaches, we need to talk about this. And she was like, oh my gosh, don't worry about it, I'll send someone over this afternoon. While I was in class, I told my teacher because I was a bit late to class because I was too busy freaking out and then killing the cockroaches. Cockroaches too, plural. She was like, I totally understand. I would have not come to class altogether. And I was like, well, my only option was to get out of the house where there was cockroaches and be in a place that wasn't with cockroaches. Anyway, I came home and the landlady was like, he's coming at 1.30 and I was like, great, okay. So I was like in my house for a half hour, um, just cleaning everything up. So it looked like I didn't live like a pig. And he came in and me being me, <laughs> greeted him in my broken Korean. I'm level four, but I'm also an idiot. And then he looked me dead in the eye and said, do you speak English in English? And I was like, yes, I'm British. He was like, are you serious? And I was like, yeah really scared that he was gonna have a go at me or like leave or something leave me in the cockroach infested house because you know corona rates in england are really bad compared to how they are in korea and he was like are you seriously and i was like yeah and he was like no way i was at sheffield university and i was like what <laughs> you're at what now you're at sheffield who and he was like yeah i studied at sheffield university made my day moving on i just went to daiso because I'm pretty sure I burnt the bottom of my other pan and I can't find the saucepan that I used to have. I might have left it with my friend, they might have adopted it, I don't really know. So we went to Daiso to go and get some because it's really cheap there and it might be about 12 miles away but it's cheap there. So the closest Daiso to me is about a mile away. I guess it's kind of equivalent to Wilco's in England, not really but anyway. <laughs> let's do a little haul of what i bought today uh i actually forgot what this was called like five minutes ago and then i read the korean name and it turns out it's just it's the same in korean i bought a diffuser to make my apartment smell nice because right now it smells a little bit like cigarettes still i already have like two different smelling things and they I'm not gonna lie to you, haven't really worked. Third time's the charm, am I right? Uh, the plan for this video wasn't actually for me to do like an unboxing, but we're doing it now, so. How, how do I open it? I don't understand. Oh! Does the sticks make any difference as to like how good the smell is? My story about the saucepans is we, we're, we're like, what is going on? Anyway, I bought a frying pan and a little lid because that's what you do in Korea. You don't just have a frying pan. I've made that mistake before and my Chinese friends laughed at me for a very long time. So yeah. Next up in my Daiso shopping haul for miscellaneous items is a saucepan. It's got a lid. Do you want a tour inside or something? The only reason I actually needed a saucepan was because sweet potatoes and mashed potato. Next up, we've got a good old chopping board because last night I had to chop my vegetables on a plate. Would not recommend it. When plates have sides and you're cutting downwards, it stops when it gets to the like side of the plate. So you're... I'm not going to try and explain it. It was too stressful basically. And then we got some food bags because freezing food is my new thing. If there's any food ever, I'm like, I wonder if I can freeze that. And I go online to search if I can freeze a certain food. If this is what being an adult is, I'm acing it. And um, last but not least, we got a bath mat that says cactus in the pot. I'm gonna go make some food. I'm not particularly hungry after my cockroach crisis this morning, but yeah, we should probably eat something. And that's your reminder to also eat something today. Also, Daiso has started doing like self-checkout. And I cannot be the only person in the whole of Korea. I cannot be the only foreigner in the whole of Korea. Maybe it's like a, also a foreigner thing. Maybe it's just the UK that scan the barcodes. 
don't really know. I cannot be the only person in the whole of Korea that doesn't know to not scan the barcode, but to actually scan the QR code. We don't do that in England. We don't even have a QR code, do we? I was standing there like an idiot, scanning the barcode, like, why is it not working? And it was like, error, it was making like a really loud noise. And I was like, looking around the shop, like, <laughs> know what i'm doing don't worry guys don't worry no one was helping me so not even the store like assistant woman i looked up and she's just staring at me already she didn't come over and tell me how to do it i had to figure out for myself by watching other people there's a tiny little barcode next to the price you're supposed to scan that <laughs> i knew that of course because i've done this before been in this country before it just I, I know everything i literally have never heard that in my entire life what countries scan the barcode in uh scan the qr code instead of the bar i'm confused i'm going to class now i'm a bit late yesterday i went to the immigration center to send off like my application for my alien registration card so that should be here on the 23rd of december which is really cool because if i had have done it through the school then it would have taken up to three months oh need to start my eating off um I've got class and then uh, I have to go back to the immigration office because they basically forgot to take my fingerprints. Like the other side of Daegu, which is really annoying. from nine to one so i have class from nine to one every day right afterwards i went back to the immigration office to get my fingerprints done and that literally took all of five seconds 15 tops yeah while i was like out in that direction i was near like downtown in Daegu. so uh i went and got myself a coffee and did a bit of studying in the cafe also i've got home to find this in my mailbox um, it's addressed to someone called Kim Dong Ho. I'm not Kim Dong Ho, if you didn't know. I also got this note thing on my door to say that they delivered a parcel, what they tried to deliver a parcel for Kim Dong Ho, who lives at this address. I live at this address. So, my room is a complete mess right now, but we went on a shopping trip today, which sounds so much more fun than it actually is. Because last night I found three cockroaches in my room and I only managed to kill one and when I turned around the other two had disappeared. It was really traumatic, it was a traumatic experience. And I've got this like combat, professional combat max thing. I basically like crawl into this little like contraption and eat the stuff and die so <laughs> that's fun. I really hope it works because uh, it was quite expensive. <laughs> more than I wanted to pay to get rid of cockroaches. To be fair, I didn't really want cockroaches in the first place, but here we are. So I hardly slept last night because I was absolutely terrified that my mouth would open in my sleep and they'd crawl into my mouth and have babies in my throat. I also bought this zero, zero cockroach stuff 
they're so creepy and they always come out in the dark i don't like it i'm looking around right now as if they're just gonna like come out and crawl into these things right away they're creepy and they're weird and they've got too many parts to them an ant just has like its head its body and its butt and then some legs just cockroaches have too many things it's just not right 